Jiminy Jellicers. Jiminy Jellicers, hot niggly dog. Look at that. Do you feel nice? Can you guess? My second home, Can City Centre. Huge fresh fruit and veg market here as well. So it's literally got it all. And this is good for digestion, yes, and inflammation. This one? Yes. Welcome to my channel. I'm Fern, proud mum of two and wife to husband Ryan. We took a huge risk leaving our hometown in the north of England to the stunning French Riviera. It has been one crazy journey with some super challenging times, but the highs definitely make it all worthwhile and we've discovered parts of ourselves we never knew existed. Subscribe and join me for a peek into my daily life living on the French Riviera. Honey, that's spectacular, isn't it? Jiminy Jellicers. Jiminy Jellicers, hot diggity dog. Look at that. Look at her. Amazing, isn't it? It is amazing. This is what we fell in love with, Riviera Skies. It was actually the sunsets in October that we fell in love with. But the sunrises in January seem spectacular. Too. Yeah, really special. Take all my tummy. Three minutes? I've got a coffee to drink. Oh, six minutes. More. Look at <laughs> I love how she just chills out like that. <sighs> morning, everyone. Friends, quite noisy check-in this morning from, can you guess, my second home, Can City Centre. I'm here again. Just dropped Nancy off at dance school. And yeah, I do love this city though. It's one of my favourites on the Riviera. It's literally got everything you would want from a city. So it's got your luxury high-end shops, bars, restaurants right at the front across from the beach. It's actually got sandy beaches as well, which they don't have everywhere on the Riviera, like Nice, Cansomere and lots of other locations have stony pebble beaches which is very annoying but can is sandy beaches oh god there's a dustbin lorry now this is like the noisiest start to the vlog ever I'm sorry um, but yeah that's your luxury end and then like a street back you've got your high street which has got like two Zara's on there a mango and all your high street shops your Sephora's um, everything and then back from that you have like your bargain section so again slightly cheaper bars and restaurants you've got your markets it's got a huge fresh fruit and veg market here as well so it's literally got it all big train station everything and it looks like it's market day today wednesday morning shall we go and have a little look i've got some errands to run this morning some bits and bobs to pick up couple of hours to kill, so let's go.
I have to be careful in this shop because it's my huge weakness. I'm completely sold by the names of stuff straight away. Like, look, what's that? Rival Detox. I've literally come in for magnesium. That is it. But I can guarantee I leave with more. So this is what I usually get. 26 euros. It's a good one, I'm told. And yeah. So we need a pack of those. Hmm, it smells gorgeous in here. They've got something burning. Very holistic. Ooh, pink and green beets. Natural hair dyes. Oh, there it is, look. They've got the, uh, what do you call them? The, the sticks burning. Ooh, what else do we want? Hmm. Ooh, actually, I have run out of nettle capsules and I did like those. I felt like the, um, how shall I say it, stimulated digestion basically kept me very regular, which we love. So we'll have another tub of those. Anything else? Anything else that's going to enrich my life? No, no, Let's have a no, look. Mm. Oh, shiitake. Mushroom extract. Mm. Ginseng. Before you know it, you've spent 100 euros. So easy. Uh, oh, what is that? I keep seeing that on the biohackers thing. Glutathione. Is that good? 32 euros. We should do a bit of research. Uh, just a little bit. A little. What is this for? This glutathione. Yeah. It's special for the liver. Yes. And for the head. Uh, brain. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, depolluant. Detoxify. Detox. Exactly. Ah, okay. It's special for detox. Okay. And anti uh, vieillissement. Yes. Antioxidant? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, perfect. One, the best. one per day? Uh, this one, it's one per day. Yeah. Yeah. This one. One per day. Yeah. And this is good for digestion, yes? And inflammation. This one? Yes. Uh, it's for the muscle, for the bone, oh. not for digestion. For digestion, you have this one, Maxi Enzyme. This one. Oh, okay. Because you have uh, enzyme. Oh, I take probiotic. Probiotics. I take a yeah. probiotic. Yes. <coughs> okay. This is good for for the body, but for the muscle. Okay. For the um, bone. Okay. We we'll we'll take yeah. these. Yeah. All these this is for maximum energy. Okay. But you don't uh, you don't have the stress. Okay. It's energy cool. Okay. You know. Yes. It's good. Good. Perfect. Yeah. I'm a little bit bunged up today guys. Me and Ryan have got a bit of a cold, which is not like us. I blame the cake fest that we had. It weakened our immune system and literally two days after we ate those cakes from the patisserie, like sugar overload when our bodies aren't really used to it, we got poorly. So ignore the sniffles 
Although I have been to the health shop this morning and picked up some goodies. They get me every single time. It's like my weakness. I know that I've got to go in there for like one thing. Like today it was magnesium. We're running low on magnesium. Just take one capsule of that every night. So does Ryan now as well because literally the majority of the world is deficient in magnesium. So I just throw it down there, you know. Uh, and I came out like over 100 euros lighter every time because I'm like, ooh, what's that? Ooh, that looks good. And they get me. They get me every time. And I know lots of you will say, if you eat a healthy, fulfilling diet, which we do, then you're not going to need these supplements. But honestly, I do feel better when I take certain things and I just try it all you know so that is my weakness i did get a few extra items in there i'll show you that first so i've got the magnesium this is the one that i take i don't know why she just said it's the best one and i read the ingredients and just check for like fillers and oils and things like that and it's very honest and basic so i just take that one then oh Gosh, yeah, completely got sold on this. Don't really know what it is. What did she say this is for again? Hmm. Mm. Q10. Basically, it's one a day. I think it's for eye health and brain and clarity and energy sharpness, I think. So we're going to give those a go for the first time. Again, I always check the ingredients, always, and this is a really good, honest brand. What else did we get? Oh yeah, keep seeing this. There was lots of this at the Biohackers event that I went to, and I believe it's for detoxifying the liver and the brain. Yeah, we all need a bit of that sometimes, don't we? So we'll throw that in. And then I've had these so many times before and I actually thought they were to keep you regular, like digestion, because that's what I noticed when I was taking these, like in a good way. Um, but then the lady said that it was for bone health and things like that. So I thought, I've had them before, liked them, so I'm going to have them again. So that's my little chemist pharmacy loot this morning. And then... I went to get Nancy, she wanted a notebook, she loves writing, like she'll write in a notebook daily, just like summarising a day, like a little diary, and she loves to doodle, she's ultra creative, so she goes through notebooks very, very quickly, so she was like, mummy, please, can you get me a notebook today, she's been asking me for a week and I kept forgetting, so I was like, okay, I'll go and get a one, so I got two actually, because she said she wanted a sturdy hardback one, uh, with an elastic piece to keep it short now oh and it had to be lined paper she didn't want a bullet journal or anything like that just plain lined paper so that's the only one that I saw in Flying Tiger that matched all the tick boxes that she wanted but I thought well it's blue and stripey and then I saw this really nice one she'll literally use them both honestly she doodles and whatever so much this is like a lilac-y one. You look better than Beyonce today, it says. And that's again, just the lined paper. So we got those two, so I think she's gonna be happy. And then, just to go with them, because I'm the best mum ever, I got these little sticker books, because I thought they'd be really cute to put at the side of certain things. So yeah, that, oh, and then I got something else. Oh. Okay, so there's this shop that I absolutely love and it's called Bathroom Graffiti. It's in the centre and it sells really funky, like quirky designer home items.
I love it like every time I go in there I literally want to buy so many things and um, this is why it's good sometimes to not own your own home because money 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 all the time but anyway I went in there before Christmas this is the shop got a cool bright pink bag went in there before Christmas saw these super cute dog bowls I know so random and they were expensive like just under 40 euros per bowl and I was like that's crazy um but at the minute the dogs haven't got great bowls we're like having to fill them up every day they're not big and whatever and these are big bowls like too big actually for my little dogs but I thought great gorgeous anyway they had 30% off so I invested in these two dog bowls and to be honest dog bowls they're like out in your house all the time you have to look at them all the time so really it's like a home item really it's you know anyway I'll show you these beautiful expensive dog bowls that I got how nice though aren't they gorgeous they're so big they're like made from acrylic and they're just perfect for two little princess doggies so yeah we got some gorgeous little well big poochie bowls um 30 percent off so it still cost me like over 50 euros for two bowls but i love them and they will last forever so that is my purchases today in Cannes City Centre. What time is it? Uh, we've got a few minutes to go get the girly and dash home. I had someone come to the house this morning. Obviously we're in rented property, just easy living at the moment. But on the ceiling downstairs, there's like loads of cracks and the, um, the plaster's coming away and things. So obviously reported it to the agency. And they sent someone out to repair the plaster and Ryan was like, we got a bit lost in translation, it's quite difficult, but um, Ryan was like, no, I don't want you to repair the plaster because there's clearly a leak there coming from the shower upstairs. So that was a bit of a rigmarole. We've also got a blocked drain at home as well. So a bit of a nightmare, but they're sending people out to fix it, which is another huge perk at the moment of not owning your own home. We're just trying to like, appreciate and embrace this chapter before literally everything's just a huge outgoing isn't it she's got a snuddy on it's a bit chilly isn't it oh are you ready to see what i got then some of it you won't be interested in some of it you will sit assis toi sugar sugar got you a little pretty Always happy to see us mm -hmm. in shape. And where's Sylvia? Sylvia! Hiding under the table. Are you ready to see these? You're going to love them. Yeah. Are they glass? They're like acrylic. Do you like them? Yeah. Fish. Yeah. Why would you not love them? They're um. like the best dog bowls in the world now. Could you create a better dog bowl, really? Yeah. Come on! You could create cream brick for our new house. They're gorgeous. They buy a you brand. You did say you wanted a cream house. In oh, the Nancy's next like uh, thinking that when we get our home, she wants it all like minimalistic and cream and. And, and I. Um, but if you get these dog bowls, you're gonna have like little. Smiley face is coming out of the window and... What do you mean? Like, that was just funky. Uh, yeah, fun I like a touch of funky. I like just a splash of funky. It, that know? wasn't yellow thing. It's not yellow, it's cream. It's cream. Oh, they are amazing. Come on, what do you think, sugar? Put an X to them. Look, it's like... Oh, I'm sorry. That couldn't be any like more you. That is left. so your vibe. She doesn't like <laughs> she me. She does. Do you want to see your notebook? Yeah. She wants mummy. Oh, darling. She wants her mummy. She just wants her mummy. Yes. Uh, wait, 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 wait. You Are you sure it's with lines? With lines? Yeah, yeah, full of oh, lines. Oh, you wanted with lines. 
Ah. Uh, uh, I told you I didn't do that. Did you? Huh? And you so, said with lines. And you said yeah. What them kind of lines? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi babe. Just a notebook for nuts. Oh, right. Are you alright? Oh, shit, dogs. Yeah, do you like them? Not a dog. What do you think? The yeah, but they are big. But that's good because we won't have to keep filling up the water. Oh yes. Do you like? Yeah. I like them. Fix your already, Well, no, they had 30% off. It's a bit too bright. It's a bit too bright? Yeah. Well, you said hardback. Mm -hmm. You said elastic. Oh. I said plain. And you said, well, that's the only one they had like one. that. And then they had a little one. Okay. okay. Oh, you got me too? Yeah. I like this. Oh my god, we've got a notebook connoisseur here. I mean, I like them both. Good, because I got you too, so you should be I very grateful. I wish this one was on the... Hard, I know you wanted hard back, yeah. But this was the plainest one that they did, in like a plain colour, with lined paper. They did some other hard back plain ones, but they were the bullet... Um... Is this the bullet? Oh, okay. No, lined, both lined. Got you both lined, and then I've got you these. <laughs> ah, I knew you'd like them. Right. Oh, a simple one. I don't think they're they're growing up job. so quick, please. Sure they're growing, it's so sad. She's not a midget gremlin. Shut up. Well, I'm being honest. Oh, I'm device one. Sorry about the background noise everyone, I've got the washer going but I just wanted to share my lunch with you today because we love sharing the food and what have we got? We have got um, black pollock, that is, that fish, I had to translate it because I wasn't sure but it's black pollock, um, two pieces because let's face it, fish is never filling and I'm kind of the only one that likes it in the family really so this is my lunch it needs eating as well I always buy fish thinking oh yeah super fresh healthy I'm gonna eat it and then honestly I find myself eating it when I'm like forced to eat it when I have to I always look at it and think no I'll have that another day um but then I'm always really satisfied when I've made it anyway it's lovely so I'm gonna chuck some olives in there just like that few more and we'll pop some tomatoes in there as well and I'm going to put a big chunk of salty butter on there for it to cook in and then when it comes out I'll drizzle some extra virgin olive oil it's already got garlic in there I don't know if you can see get the butter on there never shy with butter proper butter but i love it and that is going in the oven for around 20 minutes ish i'll make a little parcel with this foil almost forgot guys we've got some provence herbs just thrown on there as well these are lovely it's just a combination of i think it's rosemary basil and thyme i'm pretty sure so i've chucked some of that on there and now it's ready to go in do and give it a good glug of extra virgin olive oil because we just try and get as much of it in the diet as possible very mediterranean lunch today gorgeous just thought i'd give you a before shot 
of these doggies which aren't looking so happy at the moment because they know we're going somewhere and my dogs are very much home comforts kind of dogs. Sugar's very anxious, she doesn't really like the outside world, it gets very overwhelming for her um, so she just likes being at home, she likes us being around. Sylvia, she would appreciate a walk a little more often but she can't go very far since her back operation, she's a little bit disabled now. So they are just our house doggies. That's why Sugar's panting, she's like, where are we going? Why have you put my lead on? So they're going to the groomers, they're going to get a full glow up. It's your lucky day, Sugar's not been since before Christmas. Sylvia's a little bit longer because she's less maintenance. But they're going for the full works, nails the lot so here's the before ready for the transformation are you ready oh hello did you have no time did you you look beautiful you do fresh finally fresh yay Look at that! Sylvia, you look brand new. You look beautiful, darling. Did you have a nice time? She's literally done everything. She's done your nails. Wow, you special girl. And what about you? Brand new. Check me out. I've even got a fresh booty. And did it feel nice? Ah, okay. It's okay. It's okay, you look beautiful. Yes, you do. How gorgeous. It costs me like 100 euros, 50 each per dog when I take them to the groomers, which I think is a little bit more than the UK, but things are more expensive here in France the taxes are so high it's like crippling for businesses which is one of the reasons why things are higher priced it's extremely high tax that we have to pay here uh, 6 p.m guys i've got the dryer on i've got all the bedding on the line waiting to dry to get back on the bed the washers go in I'm feeling rubbish now, you know when you've got a cold and it gets to the evening and it just feels like 10 times worse and all around my nose has got really sore and dry from just blowing my nose all the time. Um, the kids have taken over the TV, they've got some rubbish on, it's like this zombie, I don't know, it's definitely aimed at a younger audience but I find myself when I'm pottering downstairs, I'm just drawn into it and I find myself watching it. So I've come upstairs because I don't want to quite give up with the day yet. I thought I would have a little wardrobe organised. So I'm literally in the midst of it. Not that I've got tons, I've literally only got this small section here and I, I've still actually got quite a lot of my clothes and things packed away in Ryan's brother's basement. Um, but I'm just like packing away things that I know I'm not really going to wear until maybe winter. Um, you know, like more festive items, glitzy and things like that. I just know I'm not going to put it on. So I'm just trying to have a bit of a declutter. So here we are. I'm putting like all the stuff that I'm just reaching for every day at the moment. You can tell it's January, can't you? Because I'm just literally drawn to muted, um, like neutral tones, very easy wearing comfort at this time of year. That's what all this is, just stretchy tops. Love these, by the way. Got them in a ton of colors. They're just basic stretchy tops from Zara. In fact, I've got one on today, a long sleeved one. They're just really sheer and nice. Have I got any more on there? I think some are in the... Uh wash these are like more cottony ones just really nice basic layers so that's what i'm reaching for a lot just midweek at the moment and just nice gym gear we've got some oisho bits in there some 
yeah, so uh, this is my attire at the moment. I'm just working my way through this section and I'm going to go down the um, tees and jumpers and things like that. As you can see, like glittery shoes, they're going to get boxed up and go into storage. Just working my way through the shoe section, boots, and then all this. Oh my gosh, look, it's falling. It's falling. All this. Obviously not like this. I'm going to go through it. It's going to get tubbed up and packed away because I just don't think I'm going to wear it. It's soon be summer. Summer comes around so quick here and this is all like leather shorts, sparkly jackets, things like that. So I've set myself on. Ignore the bed. The bedding's on the line. Shouldn't be long. Um, but that's what I'm on with, guys, for this part of the day. So once this is all done and I've just packed things away I'm gonna have a nice hot shower because I just feel you know when you're a bit run down like snotty I just feel really grotty so I'm gonna have a nice bit of a pamper shower wash my hair do all my skincare I've got a nice day planned with Ryan tomorrow we don't actually know what we're doing yet but um we've got the day together while the kids are at school which is quite rare but he's got a job to go to first thing in the morning and then we're just going to hang around in this location so i'm sure i'll vlog it i'm sure i'll bring you along might be the next one after this um but yeah i'm going to wrap this one up guys thank you so much for spending the day with me i love to just throw these realistic raw days in the life in between the riviera and all the like fun it's very real most days so I like to give you an insight into it all, but please support the channel by subscribing. It's completely free. It helps the channel grow and it means that I can just keep creating videos for you to watch. So thank you so much, guys. I will see you all very soon in my next one. Bye.